It's time now for Truth or Fake, our daily fact-checking segment with Catalina Marchand de Abreu. Good evening, Catalina. Today's segment is on Elon Musk, who tweeted, then deleted a conspiracy theory on the Paul Pelosi attack. Tell us more. Indeed, Elon uh, Musk first test of how to handle misinformation on Twitter is not going well. As they say in quartz, uh, Twitter's uh, owner posted and then deleted a conspiracy theory about uh, the attack on Paul Pelosi when an intruder broke into Nancy and Paul Pelosi's home in San Francisco early on Friday morning and attacked Paul Pelosi with a hammer, fracturing his skull. Uh, the tweet that was posted and then deleted by Elon Musk, we have it right Right here, uh, this tweet posted on October 30th. Uh, it was uh, deleted not before it reached over 28,000 uh, retweets, where he's answering, he's replying uh, to a, a tweet by Hillary Clinton that we have right here, where she's uh, referencing to this attack on Paul Pelosi, uh, linking to this article by the LA Times on how conspiracy theories embolden the man who attacked uh, Paul Pelosi. So in reply to this uh, tweet right here by Hillary Clinton, uh, Elon Musk says there is a tiny possibility that, that poss possibility that there might be more to this story than meets uh, the eye, while linking to this story right here by the Santa Monica observers. Now, oh, what no. is uh, the content in this article, which was published by the Santa Monica Observer? We have the article right here by the Santa Monica Observer that claims that Paul Pelosi was drunk and in a dispute with a male or prostitute early Friday morning, hence claiming that the man that broke into Nancy and Paul Pelosi's home uh, and attacked Paul Pelosi was his uh, lover during this uh, lover's spout. Uh, this website is notorious, though, for publishing a far right-wing fake news story, stories, including this one right here, where where they claimed that Hillary Clinton died on uh, September 11th, actually. So uh, conspiracy theories at its finest right here. Uh, so Paul Pelosi was uh, not attacked uh, by a male prostitute. Uh, this is an unfounded anti-LGBTQ uh, conspiracy theory uh, created by the Santa Monica Observer. Uh, so no doubt a tweet by Elon Musk that uh, raises many concerns on the type of content that will be allowed on his platform. Catalina, moving on to your second story on Twitter CEO, did Elon Musk fire uh, a Twitter employee on a live show? Indeed, we have uh, more in this uh, episode, a new episode on Elon Musk's uh, Twitter takeover right here. Uh, Musk fired the entire board and became a Twitter's sole Twitter director, including Vijay Gade, who is Twitter's former legal head. Uh, there's this uh, viral video on uh, Twitter right here uh, f with over 34,000 views posted on October 29th, uh, where they claim that Elon Musk fired the head of Twitter censorship live on on air, and here we see Vijay Gadie, who is Twitter's former legal head and not censorship, FYI. So let's take a look at this uh, video that goes with the tweet. I think we've failed in a couple ways, and I, I mm. want to admit that. Failure comes with a big penalty. You're fired. Uh, I. Why don't we. You know. Off. You know? I do think we. So this uh, video right here that is obviously a parody, uh, many weren't fooled by it, while uh, many uh, were praising Elon Musk's assertive uh, action. Delano. So where does this video come from? Indeed, uh, both uh, clips right here, they belong to Joe Reagan's interviews uh, podcast show. We found both of the original videos on uh, the Joe Reagan Experience uh, YouTube channel right here. Here is the interview uh, by Vija, uh, to Vijay Gade. He also interviewed a former, uh, former CEO, Jack Dorsey, and uh, Tim Pool. So we can see that this video was from three years ago on March 5th, 2019. And we can see that Vijay Gade was wearing the same outfit as in the fake claims. And we also found the, the interview on Elon Musk four years ago, live streamed on September 7th, 2018, where we can see him wearing uh, the same outfit once again. 
So in the comments, we saw that many were wondering uh, who created this video. This video was edited by this user right here, who is a producer in Denmark. And here we could see the video in his uh, feed, uh, where he also says right here uh, that uh, he on his uh, on his Instagram post he says that this is footage Elon Musk fired Twitter's head of censorship on air uh, parody. So the creator of this video does uh, specify that this video. Right here is a, a parody. So Elon Musk did uh, fire uh, Vijagadi. This is true. Uh, however, uh, this uh, video right here is, uh, he did not fire her on a live uh, Joe Regan podcast show. Uh, this video right here is a parody. Catalina, thank you very much for that, Catalina. They're taking us through with the, the dangers of the internet with a truth or fake. More news coming up. Stay with us.